Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how you can check, clean or replace the heating blower motor in a Volkswagen Polo 2003 9N. The motor for the heating and cooling inside the car started to make a loud noise. The noise is different at different speeds. On the speed 2, you cannot really hear it here, but the noise was there and it was also vibrating. The worst was on 3rd speed and 4th speed. The first thing to check is the air cabin filter, which is under the passenger side. You open, there are two brackets, you remove the brackets and then you slide the cover out. And then the filter is inside, you just pull it down gently. As you can see it's full of leaves and dust and it's very dirty this one. At this point you can replace the filter or if you want to try to clean it you can wash the filter and keep it to dry for a few days. You can wash the filter with normal detergent used for clothes. There was a lot of dust and a lot of leaves in the filter area so what I'm thinking is that I need to clean the motor first, try to clean it before replacing it. After removing the filter the noise is not so loud now for third speed. Fourth speed is uh, still pretty bad now. The second speed is uh, sounds better, but the vibrations are still there. To remove the blower motor you first have to locate the uh, screws, there are three screws here. To open these you need a Torx screwdriver. And then you just remove, you slide it up, upwards, slap this cover and don't remove it completely, just let it hang like this just enough so you can access the next three screws that you need to unfasten. These are the same uh, the type of screw but it's a smaller size than the previous one. You remove all three. The next step is to remove the screws that hold the um, glove box in place. There is one in the middle. They are also torque screws and there are two on the sides. There is one and the other one is there. After you remove all three screws, you will pull downwards and push at the same time and then slide it towards you, like so. And just be careful on the left side there is the gear mechanism for the glove box opening system. Not be careful not to damage that one. And then just set the glove box aside, keep it somewhere away from your work area. And now behind the glove box there is the motor.
it has seven screws here I'm trying to show you the screws you just have to find the golden ones they're shiny compared to the other screws around them these are made in a different way so just make sure you find all seven of them and then you open the motor After you remove all screws, disconnect the electrical connectors and the harness as you see here. You also need to remove the second part of the harness from the motor completely. It should be like that. And then just pull it out, being careful not to damage the connectors and the wires you will pull it out slightly and then slide it downwards to remove it from the car this is how it looked like when I took it from the car it wasn't really dusty actually and it spins freely I will clean this motor from dust as much as possible especially inside where you see the parts I didn't have compressed air, but blowing the air out seems to work pretty much for me. Motor spins freely without any noise. I also cleaned the place where the motor was sitting. Just trying to remove any dust from there. Here on the right you can see the fuse, thermal fuse that is used for the motor. If your motor is only working on the 4th speed and not on the 1, 2, 3, then this fuse is blown and it will need to be replaced. It's accessible from the top there, as you can see. You can get a special fuse for, for this and then just crimp it in there and it would work. This would happen if the motor is consuming too much uh, power, too much uh, current and uh, it's a protection mechanism. I will put the old motor back in after cleaning it, but you could just replace it, use a new one. The process is this, uh, the reverse, just make sure that here it's aligned properly with the rest of the components. It has to be a tight fit just like that. And you make sure that you replace all the screws and test it before you put everything back. The noise is still there, but actually after driving it a few days, it became less and less each day. The, the most noise I have now is on the third speed.
on the first speed is completely noise free. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me a lot. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below, I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, bye.